here. Let's go. We got Kenny Galladay, Giants fans. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. Three long days of negotiations. Three long days of waiting. Every single day, we're, we're telling ourselves, oh man, today today's going to be when we sign him. Today's going to be when we sign him. Finally happens. Out of no, well, not really out of nowhere. We all kind of expect it today because we're like, if it goes on longer, this is a record-breaking negotiation, you know, uh, time period. You know what I'm saying? Three, four days. Man, what a week it's been. Only W's for the Giants. Only W's. Shout out to Dave Gettleman, Kevin Abrahams, and uh, Joe Judge, man. This week has been nothing but good moves by the Giants, in my opinion. There's only been one bad thing to happen, and I don't really even put too much weight into it because a lot of people expected it to happen. You know, you go back to the press conference, not just because looking at it, the more valuable person to keep between Dalvin Thompson and Leonard Williams would have been Leo, and so people expected Dalvin to be the one to walk. But if you go back to the press conference, was it last week or earlier this week that the Giants had? The way that Joe Judd spoke about Dalvin Thompson, he was speaking as though he was already off the team. You know what I mean? So, like, the optics were there. But even then, the supplementing, you know, replacements for Thompson in BJ Hill, in Ifidi that we picked up, which is an underrated player, I'm completely happy with. And I actually think our pass rush improved as a result of it. Not necessarily the run stuffing ability, but the pass rushing ability did indeed improve. And like, we, bro, you talk about low risk, high reward signings and whatnot. This entire week has been great. And now we get the number one wide receiver. We have finally a legitimate outside threat that is a number one wide receiver in the NFL for the first time since Odell. And I'm so happy about it. Four years, $72 million. In, in this market, is it an overpay? Yeah, a little bit, because the highest contract up until this point was 13 and a half mil. You know, at $72 million, that's basically 18 a year. A little bit, but the cash pay is gonna go up next year, especially with the new um, TV deals or streaming deals, I think it is, with Amazon Prime and with ABC and whatnot. The cash pay should go up, so it really shouldn't be a problem. This, this is amazing. This is amazing, man. Uh, we kept Leo, extended him. We got guys like Fidi and Ross on low risk high reward contracts. You know what I'm saying? We, we still filled in depth with guys like Austin Johnson and whatnot. And we still somehow signed Kenny Galladay. Before this offseason began, we didn't even know if we had enough money to get Leo alone. Now we got Leo and Kenny. DJ gets his number one. The guy we've been asking for. And we still have the draft to go, by the way. We could still take a wide receiver in the draft or we could go anywhere. Because with Kenny at 11, it opens up a lot of doors. We could go corner. We could go linebacker. We could go another receiver. We could go tight end. Well, I don't know if we could go tight end because now we got Kyle Rudolph and Evan Ingram still currently on the roster. If one of them goes, maybe we go, you know, Pitts. You know what I'm saying? We could take a reach at an edge. We could reach on somebody like Ojalori. We could take a massive reach on somebody like Phillips and take the risk on him. But it opens up that, that door now. And this is two great off seasons in a row by Dave Gettleman. Oh, you know what? I'll say the front office since some people really have trouble giving credit to Dave Gettleman. But with two off seasons in a row, you knock it out the park. Last year, amazing free agency with Martinez and Bradbury, and an amazing draft where I I, I said it, you know, in my in season review, more players from our draft class contributed to the team than I think any other NFL's team draft class in 2020. You know, we had fifth, sixth round picks, you know, playing starting minutes on, on the class, not necessarily because that was the plan, but out of necessity. And well, they helped out, you know what I'm saying? And now so far this off season, Leo deal A plus for me, Ken Galladay deal A plus for me. Yes, they still have yet to see the, the field to play. Yes, free agency isn't completely done and we're still gotta see how they're gonna break down these, you know, these cap numbers, what the yearly hits are gonna be, how they're gonna free up cap space for this year. Cause as we stand right now, if he's making 18 mil this year, a lot of moves have to be made. I highly doubt he's making 18 mil this year though. But it's been two amazing off seasons by Dave Gettleman. Two amazing offseasons by Joe Judge. Two amazing offseasons by Kevin Abrams, who deserves a lot of credit for, you know, the way he's been, you know, helping structure these contracts and working out the cap space and whatnot. As a Giants fan, I don't know how you can't be happy. For the first time since Odell, we have a receiver to be feared. Not just, just think about what that does for you in the receiving game. It does a lot for the running game as well. Now, defenses have to respect that number one receiver and they won't be stacking the box against Saquon. Saquon, who has, by the way, when healthy, has, has gotten a thousand yards against consistently stacked boxes, but now he's not going to have eight men blitzing on him to try and stop the run. He's going to have less, and that just means he's going to go off a little bit more. And, and Jason Garrett, man, Jason Garrett, I hope you don't mess this up, bro, because uh, 
You, the coach, the, the offensive coordinator, Jason Garrett, you have better weapons now. You have a better offense overall. You have a quarterback in his third year. You better change up the plays that you're calling or the play design a little bit to actually benefit the team to get the ball moving and to score. There should be no excuses at this point. I, some people might say it's a bit early because, once again, the draft hasn't happened yet. But in terms of weapons, for me, DJ has to get it done. I hope we continue to build the offensive line in the draft. We still need another guard. But for me, DJ needs to get it done. And I'm going to go back and say something that's a little bit of a hot take um, that I brought up earlier. Once again, shout out to Joseph Clark for this. With the signing of Kenny Galladay, the Giants rebuild is complete. It's come for a circle. Come full circle. I don't know why I tripped up over my words there. Our defense was complete last year when it was a top 10 ranked defense and it got better this year in my opinion. Once again, the draft still has to happen so you could only assume it would get better. The defense has been complete. The goal of this offseason was the offense, particularly weapons. We added three weapons, two of them who I think in particular are definitely going to have a big impact in Rudolph and now Galladay, right? Ross, he's going to be a depth guy. Maybe he does something, maybe he doesn't. And the offensive line, they still need to get a guard. But for the most part, you know, you get Saquon back healthy and whatnot. You got a really good backup in Devontae Booker. You know, that rotation, we'll see how that goes. The offense is almost complete. So the rebuild is right there, right? That's why I'm like, the rebuild is basically complete. Because in the draft, they're just going to continue to build upon what we've seen. And that just makes you excited. Like, we were a good team last year that caught some tough breaks. We're a better team going into this year. And with, a, with an actual offseason, you could only imagine what they could do. Now, the NFC East isn't going to be easy by any stretch of, the, of your imagination because Washington got better as well. And Washington has two good corners over there with a really good defense. You know what I mean? They got better as well, but we're right there with them. We're going to be battling it out for that spot. But when's the last time y'all felt this hope, excited as a Giants fan? It's been like four years. You know what I mean? Coincidentally, <laughs> probably last time since we had Odell was the last time you know, the team was a legit threat like this. But put your thoughts down below and let me know what you all think. You know what I mean? Kenny G is a giant. I mean, it took long enough. Three whole days of negotiations. But we're here. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.